Okay guys, so here are five tips on working with cake molds. Uh, since I just baked so many cake uh, trees, so I think I have a few things to share with you guys. Tip number one, use a paintbrush to cover your, your molds with butter. So use a cake brush, melt your butter, and with a cake, with a paintbrush, go in and you can actually reach all the little crevices because you don't want any uncovered spots. If you don't use enough butter, you might find little spots that are not covered and then they will stick, which will ruin your cake because if there's like one spot that's not coming off, that will make the cake break. If you use too much butter, it can cause too much caramelization. Yes. I don't usually use too much butter, so if you know what happens if you use too much butter, you can let me know. Tip number two. This tip is very important as well. Do a test run. Do a test run for different reasons. One, you need the cake to be a pretty firm cake because if you use a cake that's too soft, then when you stand it up, it can crumble and break. If you um, you also need a cake recipe that caramelizes enough on the outside so that it releases easily. Um, the other thing why you definitely need a test run is because you need to figure out the time that it takes for your cake to bake. If you take the cake out too early, it will stick. It will not, it will not caramelize enough on the, on, around the edges and then when it'll be too gooey. Trust me, because it happened to me several times. And then when you flip it over, no matter how long you wait or how early you take it out, it will stick because it wasn't ready to come out. If you leave it in too long, it will also stick. I have no idea why, but it does. Because I tried, at some point I tried, oh, what if I just over bake it and then it'll definitely be well done and then it won't stick. It did, it needs to be left in for the right amount of time. So test run it and then take notes because next year, I mean, if you're using a Christmas tree mold, you're not gonna use it more than once or twice a year. So take notes and, and remember next year how long you need to leave that cake in for. Tip number three. This, I think is my best tip for you guys. Save a little batter. Don't overfill your cake mold. Like for example, for this one, you guys can see the side, how the, the, the top of the tree, this is a tree. The top of the tree is super thin. The bottom of the tree is super thick. So obviously if you fill up the whole thing with batter, the bottom thin part will be super crunchy and the other part will not be done yet. So what I did is that I filled up after testing it many times, I filled up about a little bit more than half. And then it, once it was rising, it didn't quite get to the edges, but that was perfect. It's exactly what I needed because I had saved a little bit of batter on the side. And when the cake was maybe about 10, 15 minutes from being done, I opened the oven, I pulled it out very carefully. I didn't completely pull it out, but just the rack out. And then I went in and I filled those um, empty spots. So they, they ended up not even looking different colors when the cake was done because, um, because they baked pretty much to the same color. So that was, a, that was a good thing to do. Tip number four. This is really important, guys. You cannot leave your cake to cool in the pan for too long. You cannot leave it too short either. So you, what I found for this specific mold, and that's the sad thing, every mold is different. But what I found for this specific mold of the tree it was about 10, between 10 and 15 minute, minutes was the right time. So just, I guess just wait till the pan is like slightly cool enough for you to handle and then flip them over onto a cooling rack. If you leave it in too long, it will stick. If you leave it in, if you take it out too early, it will break. Pans are a pain. Cake molds are a pain. That, I don't know why we use them. It's easier to sculpt sometimes. Tip number five. All right, and another tip that uh, is very useful, each, I find that molds are not always perfect. So for example, this one with a tree, well, I have the skull here and I have these little guys. 
if I leave the cake as is when it comes out and then I try standing them up, they are not quite standing up perfectly. So you need to trim the bottom so that when you stand the cake up, so trim the bottoms, trim the, the middle, and just make, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ruin the shape because you're not, you're making it better. And then tip number six, I need a tip. If anybody can figure out how to perfectly clean these things, please let me know. Because I, I took a toothbrush to this, I let it soak forever, and I still can't figure out how to get it perfectly clean. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again next week.